Hey, this is M from the 33 Secrets. I'm out here in Laguna Beach, California today. One of my favorite places in the world to come hang out, come chill. Been shooting a few coaching videos out here today and this is going to be the last one. So, the topic that we are going to be discussing in today's coaching video is the future of pickup and the rise of feminism. Because this is a question I've been getting from a lot of guys, especially lately, with uh, what's going on out there with you know, it seems like every girl you meet out there is a freaking feminist and girl power and all this other stuff. So a lot of guys are asking me, like, what's the future of pickup? And, you know, are these feminists actually going to instill laws that keep us as gamers from approaching them? The thing you have to understand is pickup itself is based on female psychology, right? So as I always teach my students, we can time travel a thousand years into the future. And as long as there are two genders, male and female, pickup in game is, is still gonna work. It's always gonna work. Because these principles, again, are based on female psychology, female biology, female and female physiology, okay? And not just textbook theory, but applicable theory. We've been out there in field, field testing all of these principles through thousands of approaches and years and years of just gaming out there in venues day game, night game, right? It's doing cold approach pickup. So you have to understand, I mean, these principles, no matter what you hear on TV, no matter what these feminists are trying to push, no matter what they're trying to tell you, you know, like all sex is rape and all this other stuff, these girls, they don't want to be approached. They don't want to be bothered. You know, it's just not true. It's just not part of female psychology for girls not to want attention, not want to be validated or chase your validation. It's just not part of female psychology. Right? And a lot of these feminists too, they're just completely detached from reality. I mean, I shouldn't even have to tell you that. Just watch these girls' YouTube videos. They're, they're so detached from reality, it's insane. I mean, even when you see them debating somebody with facts and logic on any, on any YouTube video, I mean, it's scary the amount of mental gymnastics that these girls have to play in their heads in order to come to the conclusions that they do. It's insane. The last feminist video I watched was where she was like debating the genders. Like she was like, no, there's how many different genders? There's like 56 different genders. I was like, oh wow. And she actually believed it. And I really do believe that she believed what she was saying. So she actually believed that there were like 56 genders. And I'm like, oh my gosh. There's two, there's male and female, all right? Let's keep this simple. But when you play all those mental gymnastics in your head, I'm sure you can come up with a thousand different genders, right? You can come up with a thousand different social constructs in your head for why there's man, there's males and females on the planet. The art of pickup is always going to exist. It has been even before guys really started honing down these principles and really started systemizing them and organizing them in a method that could be teachable to other men. Right? I mean, we could go back hundreds of years, maybe even, even thousands of years, and I guarantee you, a lot of these guys who were trying to attract the opposite sex, even back as far as when we were living in tribes, these guys were using principles of game that they weren't consciously aware of that was causing the girl to become attracted to them. And I mean, present day, we've just, all we've done is we've really, like I said, we've systematized it and we've organized it into a system that works and that could be duplicated and that can be taught to other men. That's all we've done in present day. And again, if you travel a thousand years into the future, as long as there's both males and females on the planet, there's still those two, gen or, you know, the two genders that we started with that nature uh, put us on this planet with, Pickup is always gonna work. Game is always gonna work. It's not gonna stop, you know, even with the rise of feminism, which I don't even think it's on the rise anymore. I've said this previously, years ago, like, oh, the rise of feminism, where I don't think we're seeing a rise in feminism anymore. I think it's plateaued. And I think what you're gonna start seeing now is a decline in feminism because even women are turning against it and they've been turning against it, but in greater numbers, especially these days, women, rational women are turning against it. Most of the girls that I approach and that I end up dating, these girls want nothing to do with feminism. Most of the girls that my students approach, right? We're talking about beautiful girls, eights, nines, and tens. These girls don't want anything to do with feminism. So 
there's already a huge backlash against feminism. I don't really see anything happening with feminism any further. Sure, there's always going to be these feminists out there trying to push their agenda, but luckily, thanks to the internet, thanks to you know all this red pill knowledge that is getting out there that extends beyond the mainstream narrative, what you were taught in school or by your college professors or by CNN, now you're starting to see the rise of the red pill movement where people are like, hey, you know, everything that they're saying is bullshit. Everything that they're saying is propaganda and agenda. And now, I mean, it's just, it's so far like the looniness that's gone on with the left. It's so insane. I mean, five, 10 years ago, I still had a little bit of respect for them because I grew up in San Francisco and obviously it's mostly leftists out there, mostly SJWs, a lot of feminists, tons of feminists in San Francisco. And at least back then they had somewhat of a decent argument. It wasn't a, it was never a good argument, right? But it was at least they had a little bit of logic to their, to their, uh, to their debates where now it's just void of logic. They're just completely off the deep end. And now everybody can see it, which is a good thing, right? They're being completely exposed for who they are. I mean, the feminist movement, I, it's just collapsing right in front of them. They're starting to eat their own, right? And obviously, not that long ago, we elected Trump as president, so now we've got President Trump. I mean, if that doesn't spell backlash, I don't know what does. I mean, his election was a huge, a huge slap in the face of feminism. A huge slap in the face to feminism, to that blue, those blue pillars out there, as I like to call them. And I just did a coaching video uh, for my Alpha Male Secrets channel called The Death of the Blue Pill Man, right? How all these like male feminists, SJWs, white knights, Captain save hoes manginas, these guys are now being ostracized. Not just by the red pillars of the world, but just by everyone, period. Just by society. I mean, society is finally starting to wake up. So, I don't see a... <laughs> I don't see feminism uh, continuing to rise in the future. I just don't see it happening. I see it collapsing in the future. You know, just with everything that's going on lately, especially with Trump becoming president, and I did a coaching video on my Alpha Male Secrets channel that you're never gonna see another Democrat in office again as long as they keep playing that identity politics. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. People are sick of it. They're tired of having, you know, these lefties shove their ideologies down their throats. They're tired of Hollywood shoving their ideologies and all their propaganda down their throats. You know, it's the the whole leftist movement is collapsing. So, are you, you're just not going to see any more rise in feminist feminism uh, any further. Their numbers are not going to continue to grow, right? They're just going to continue to get smaller. And this new generation that we have now, what is it, Generation Z, that is going to be coming into adulthood soon. These kids were raised on the internet. Right? They were not raised by CNN or by their college professors or by their public school teachers like we were. Right? They were not raised with that propaganda continuously in their face where they couldn't see what the other side had to say. Right? These kids, Generation Z, are being raised with the internet. So they're seeing all these YouTube videos, all this red pill knowledge out there. And they're, they're not being indoctrinated like they were before. They can't be indoctrinated like they were before because there's too much truth out there that is being exposed okay unlike with the millennials when they were growing up i mean you're still able to kind of uh, brainwash them and kind of push them towards your uh, political ideologies that's why they you know that's why most millennials uh, tend to be sjw's and leftists but as for generation z you're not going to continue to see that because again they grew up with the internet they they are growing up with this red pill knowledge you know thanks to all the content creators out there creating this uh, red pill knowledge where they could see the other side and they could see that, hey, these other guys are, they're full of shit. They're lying. They're just trying to push their propaganda, their agenda, you know, and their transsexual bathrooms and, you know, homosexual lifestyles, trying to normalize all that. I mean, Generation Z is seeing this up front, right? And you see a lot of these uh, videos on YouTube where these kids are in class and they're talking back to their teachers. I mean, who would have done that before? Even millennials, they weren't doing that before. You know, where these kids are starting to stand up for themselves. They're like, hey, you know, they're, I mean, I've seen so many videos where these kids are standing up to their teachers. I mean, they're teachers who could fail them. They're leftist teachers. They're like, hey, what you're saying is wrong. It's unfair. And they're posing a good argument. And their teacher who's like, you know, twice, two, three times their age, can't 
cannot debate them rationally, right? As most leftists can't. Most feminists, SJWs, they can't debate rationally. Like I said, they have to go through a number of mental gymnastics in their head in order to come to their ridiculous conclusions. So you don't need to worry. Pickup is not going to die. It's not going to die anytime in the near future as long as they're both both genders on the planet, ma both males and females, it's just not gonna die, okay? As long as people are out there still hooking up, which will probably be until the, uh, the end of the world, when the sun finally, see that sun? When the sun finally comes crashing down on, a, on the earth in uh, a few million years from now, which is actually gonna happen. The sun is going to crash down on the earth. It's gonna burn the entire planet and destroy the planet. But until that happens, uh, pickup is gonna continue to work and I'm not even worried about it, you know, I mean, and I, I say this as a guy who has been teaching pickup over two decades and as someone who may not continue teaching, right? Because as I keep telling you guys, I'm going to move on to other business ventures and other things I want to do in my life. I mean, I'm always going to do pickup myself. Okay. That's not going to change. I love approaching. I love cold approach. I just love doing it. All right. So I'm always going to do it myself. But as far as teaching goes, I'll probably ended with uh, just the guys who are in my mastery coaching program and I'm not trying to pitch it here I'm just saying like I'm gonna continue to teach those guys because they they're actually dedicated to it and they're in my coaching program so I'm gonna continue to teach them but I probably won't be taking on any more newer students just because again I'm gonna be moving on to other things but with that said pickup is always gonna work all right cold approach is always gonna work don't believe well, I shouldn't even have to tell you this. Don't believe what you see on the mainstream news, CNN, you know. I mean, yeah, sure, Canada. I think there was like one mall in Canada that Canada that banned pickup artists from approaching girls. I mean, Canada? Go ahead, keep those girls. I'm not approaching any Canadian girls. Have you seen Canadian girls? No thanks, man. There are 3.5 billion women on the planet. Uh, if one mall in Canada wants to uh, ban pickup artists from approaching, then so be it. It's not a big deal. Right, it's not a big deal at all. Pickup is always gonna work. Don't need to worry, this is a life skill that will serve you, not only for attracting beautiful women into your life, but it will dramatically improve other areas of your life. And that's one thing you'll learn about learning pickup and game also is just the multiple applications that you could use this for in other areas of your life, whether it's business, getting six pack abs, starting a business, creating a business, um, improving your finances, improving your living situation, your job situation, negotiating a car. I mean, I just got a Range Rover, I just bought a Range Rover recently and I, neg I negotiated a phenomenal deal. How did I do that? I used my pickup and gaming skills. You know, so one thing when you're first a newbie is when you start learning pickup and game, you'll immediately, of course, you're gonna use it towards attracting beautiful women into your life, which you should, right? Because that's really where you hone your game, you develop your skill set. But then once, you've been doing that long enough and you've been successful at it, you will naturally look for other areas of your life where you can apply the skill of game, all the skills you learned in uh, pickup. And believe me, I mean, one thing we did not realize when we first started the pickup community were the multiple, just, I mean, unending applications of where pickup and game could be used. You know, all the skills that we've learned in this art form, just the multiple areas of our own lives where we could use it. Make no mistake, this is a very, very powerful skill. And there's a reason why feminists, SJWs, leftists hate it, right? They hate it because they know it empowers us as men. It makes us more masculine as men. There's nothing more masculine than approaching a beautiful girl with complete confidence and, not, and no fear, right? Because a lot of guys, if they try to approach a girl, they're gonna be intimidated, they're gonna be shaking their boots, they're gonna feel that approach anxiety where you as a trained pickup artist, you're not gonna be feeling any of those motions. You'll be like ice, right? We call that being icy in the pickup community. You know, personally, I believe every single man walking this planet should be learning pickup, should be learning the art form of game. Every single man on the planet. As I always, always say, this is the number one best self-development tool that there is that you could ever, ever possibly learn as a man. Believe me when I tell you that, it is. And I teach self-development on my Alpha Male Secrets channel. And I tell those guys, hey, you gotta learn some pickup, you gotta learn from the game, because that will fast track your self-development by lightning speed, okay? I mean, you will learn so much about yourself, about the world, about humanity, about other people, about social behaviors, 
just from learning pickup, just from lear learning game. You'll learn more from pickup and game than you will from any psychology book, any self-development uh, seminar. I mean, you know, you, you could pay $10,000 to go to a Tony Robbins seminar, but try watching a few uh, pickup and dating videos. You will learn more from those. The, the, value, the value exchange is just ridiculously insane when it comes to pickup and dating. Learning this stuff is just, I mean, <laughs> these skills are just priceless. These are just priceless and they're invaluable and every guy should learn it. And just to wrap up this coaching video, what is the future of pickup? Honestly, pickup is always gonna be here. It's always gonna work. Like I said, travel a thousand years in the future, 10,000 years in the future. As long as we're still here, it'll still work. Okay, period. As for the rise of feminism, should you worry about it? Uh, I wouldn't at this point. I mean, just we'll just keep shouting them down with more red pill content, just educating more guys, bringing more guys into the manosphere, let them know that uh, you know, they're being lied to by their college professor, professors or public school teachers, CNN, you know, all those uh, media outlets now that are considered fake news. You're basically being lied to by you know, the, mainstream, the mainstream narrative that's out there. You know, that, that this is what you should believe and this is what's right when all along it was completely off, it was completely wrong. You know, those people are all still in the matrix and they will continue to be in the matrix until they choose to leave the matrix. But as for you, obviously if you're watching these coaching videos, you're watching these pickup videos especially, you're not in the matrix anymore. Because the matrix is, you know, wait for the girl to come to you. It'll just happen. It'll serendipity. You know, just be nice to her, bring her flowers. Tell her how pretty she is. That's a mainstream narrative, right? And I could even make that work, but in, a, in, a, in an attraction building way. But that's part of the mainstream narrative that you were taught. And how did that work out for you, <laughs> right? Until you found all these pickup videos and all these coaching videos teaching you how to actually attract girls, right? So that's all I have to say for this coaching video. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets, signing out from Laguna Beach, California. And got a hot girl over there walking by with blonde hair. Whew, she's hot. I should, I should probably go talk to her. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go talk to this chick, so. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, don't worry guys, don't worry about feminists. Don't worry about, there's not gonna be any more rise in feminists. Their numbers are not growing. They're staggering and then they're gonna start declining as they are now. Hopefully she's not a feminist. About to find out. Alright, what should be the opener? How about, hey, you. I like that one. <laughs>